Uh, Chris Matthews, let me start with you. The president's sort of been hit with a one, two, three here uh, uh, regarding the Affordable Care Act. One, of course, the website that we've all been talking about for a long time. Number two, the LA Times article this weekend talking about the sticker shock effect, which actually will have more of an impact probably in the long run. And then third, Lisa Meyer's report this morning talking about all those assurances the president gave about people being able to get their insurance yeah. actually ended up not being true at the end. What now seems, uh, seems to be in a position they need to get out in front of all of these stories. How do they do it? Well, they posted that November 30th number as if that's the end date of the fun and games or the opposite of fun and games. I think there's going to be some pushback on the issue of those assured people, insured people who were assured they wouldn't get a rate hike or whatever. I think there's a lot of people in that list who have catastrophic. Now, catastrophic basically covers a very limited list of horrific uh, medical challenges, cancer, etc. It doesn't cover the normal medical experiences of an average person, so they're much cheaper. Uh, like the person that... Uh, that Bill Chris was alluding to the other day on this program. I kept thinking, wait a minute, what does that policy cover? No wonder it doesn't qualify. And he kept offering it up as an example of an average person out there being basically uh, uh, double-crossed by the president. I think it's a real challenge if people with regular policies out there that covered normal medical expenses are now told, wait a minute, that policy doesn't count. I think that will be a real problem for the president in terms of his credibility, yeah, if those and, accounts and, are in that list. And let's talk.